Okay, I'm gonna try to get back in here. I think what I wanna do too, is I wanna go ahead and get a bigger tray to put back over here to have the same colors. So I need two big ones, two medium ones. And I might as well get another small one. <laughs> Let me address something really quick. Last video I made. I'm not. I don't want to be the type of person who is poor pitiful me. That is not what this is about. I think sometimes you just have childhood trauma. That. My sister-in-law put it perfectly. When she said, we have very deep scars that tend to surface and open. And I agree with that 1000%. But today's a new day. I mean, I'm very blessed. God has gifted to me the fruits of my mom's labor, for sure. All I would have wanted was for her to have had them as well. And so that's it. I'm not going to talk about it no more. <laughs> so I did fix this hat. I was able to take those knots out. And I think I put it in a place where it's going to fit me next time I put it on. <laughs> the other thing I did, I came in here and I opened this drawer. And it had little sweaters in it. And I'll show you here in a minute. But I thought to myself, I'll never get in this drawer. I even forgot they were in here. So I took them out. I had some there and here. And what I did was I took that extra bin that I had. See in there right here. Now I probably need to go through these two. And I will. Eventually, I'm trying to go through everything, and I'm going to go through everything in this room. I might do it on camera some and off camera, but all of this was stuff when I worked at the college that I put there, which helped me to have more room in this drawer. Now, I did take some stuff out of here that I didn't feel like I was gonna wear anymore. And I put them here, which was this little shawl thing. And this one that has like the little fur around it. Super cute. I like them, but I'm not gonna wear them. So, I took all the boxes that I had down here, the shoe boxes, and I actually put them behind my hack system back there. See right there? And then also on the other side, because I'd rather have them over here than where I had them. That's going to be the band-aid for now. <laughs> Until I figure out what I want to do. I have a lot of boxes up here. And in my master closet. I could put some more. Like I put boxes behind everything there. And these. I don't know if you can see them right there. And I might opt to do that. At some point. But right now. I really just want to work on the clothes aspect. And I've gone through this stuff lots of times lots and lots of times and I've taken out things that I know I wasn't going to wear but I think the only way that I'm gonna do this is by just slowly taking things out and so I almost just don't even want to try it on either.
who knows when was the last time I wore that. Okay, some of these have tags, look. This, I don't see myself wearing this. I don't even know, like, where I got it from. <laughs> I'm going to take that out. I need to ask my sissy if she wants her coat back. She gave it to me. And now, I'm sure she may want it back. I've kept this over and over again because I like the design. But I never wear it. I'm going to take it out for now. I bought this coat at a garage sale. And I just loved it. This is another Max Sport. I don't know where that brand is from. Probably Ross. This one is actually wool. I don't. I wonder if I had this one in that bag, because this one's wool. I'm gonna put it over here for now. There's, I passed up some here that I might come back and, and pull out, like these two. I, I've never worn this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to pull this purple one out. I've never really worn it. It's halogen. It's a good brand. But I just never have worn it. I'm going to try it on at least before I decide I don't want it. And like I said, this this one, I just have not worn it. But it's kind of different. I hate to get rid of it. So let's go to the top here. Okay, now let's get up here. I bet you money that these coats don't fit me. All of these right here, I bet you that they don't fit me right now. This free people one, the 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 legs, <laughs> the arms are too long for me. I don't know why this one's up here. This one is more of like a raincoat. <sighs> yeah, this one's an express. I got this one on sale for like forty bucks, and it was like two hundred and something dollars. I remember thinking. Why is that so expensive? But I'm going to put it down here with my other raincoats. Let's see. This one's a coach raincoat. That one was really pricey too, but I don't mean to talk about prices, y'all. <laughs> but I just want to, I guess, gauge what I have and don't have here. Okay, so these... This one belonged to my mom. I'm going to try it on. And then this other one, I always keep it, but I think I just need to try it on and make sure. This one as well. And as much as I want to keep my mama's stuff, I just have too much, y'all. Too, too much. And I really, I need to try these on too, but I'm not going to because that's going to make me have to decide if I want them or not. And I don't want to make that decision right now. <laughs> this one. Oh, no, I'm never going to wear that one. Like this one still has the tags too, the top shot. I think this one's too small for me too. Uh, how I wish I had, and of course, I, my weight fluctuates, but how I wish I had bought coats oversized, just like with my belts. I wish I had bought my belts oversized. Because you can always make holes in them, but then they lose their value. 
but I wish I had bought them bigger when I bought them. Okay, it's getting, it's getting bigger over here. <laughs> it actually seems like such a gloomy day. Look, y'all, gloomy day, but it's actually not that gloomy. Both of these are barefoot dreams. This one's a Banana Republic. This one's H&M, Hologen. I kept this one last time and I've not worn it. I'm going to take it out. This one I used to wear all the time. 98th and Madison. I bet you this one's the one I bought from Ross. I'm going to let that one go. This one I like because it has a little hoodie. So I'm going to keep that one. Here's this one as well, that 89 Madison. I like this color though. So I'm going to keep that one. These are H&M. This one I think is Ross as well. This one was Amazon. They sent them to me for free. I did like a little video for them. And they gave me free clothes. I've gotten rid of most of that clothes. Here's this one. Again, it's kind of like the same design. I hate to get rid of black stuff because I kind of feel like I would wear it. But if I if I decide to keep those, I'm going to fold them and put them in a drawer. I'm not going to keep them here. This one I gave to my mama and for Christmas. And when she passed, I just asked for it back so that I could have... She never wore it at all. This one, I kind of like because it's different than what I've had. This one as well. This jacket, y'all, I got from, I think I got from Saks. Was it? Mm, I don't know. It's a little trench coat. Never have worn it. Never. See, it still has the tax. It was $100. I didn't get it. I didn't pay $100 for it. But I'm going to take it out and try it on for sure. This one as well. This one's a Kenneth Cole. See, it has a tag as well. This one's polyurethane. I'm surprised it hasn't gotten like maybe it has. No. I don't know. I'm going to check it out. That one is new with tags. My little fur coats. And then I think there's... Yeah, there's a dress in that one. So, there's that side. And then... Jackets. I just barely started buying jackets. In fact, I need to hang my other jacket in here. This I just bought as well. This denim coat. What I'm going to do is, because I have a little bit more room on this side, I think I'm going to move these coats to this side. Maybe. Yeah. And then here's my, all my leather and pleather jackets. This is a bomber jacket. I don't even know where I got it from. It feels kind of silky. And then here's more denim. This one was my mama's. This one. And I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> and then this one I got again from that Amazon campaign that I did. I've never worn it out and I'm not even sure that I like it, but I'm just going to keep it. Okay, so that's everything here. And then I'm going to add that one that I have, that I got from Sam's. I really am trying to 
wear more oh you know what this one is a short one see this one's a a short jacket which is probably why oh no this stool made a noise <laughs> hopefully i'm not gonna fall i think i'm gonna put it here i need to wear it to make it a point to wear it I don't right now want to move any of this stuff to this other closet I don't think maybe I should these coats because I have because I have a little bit more room and then I'm thinking too maybe I should fold these where my other because these are like um, just little like wraps so I'm gonna take those down and then I guess I'll move maybe I should just move these over there with that with these coats since they're more like furry furry coats I don't think I have any furry coats over there no, not really. Those are all pretty much just... Okay. Okay, so basically, I'm I'm not getting rid of these. I'm keeping these. These are just little, like, coats that you can put over your clothes. And I have one of these. This is so cute. Look with pleather slacks and a turtleneck so so pretty yeah and then i'm gonna get these off the ground so i can try them on and this one i want to make sure since it's pleather that it's not it looks good but i might move it to that other closet for like rain type of coat get these up as well It always gets worse before it gets better. I'm really impressed with this garment rack because it holds a lot. So now to put back, I probably want to put my farm reel sweater somewhere. And I think that these barefoot dream are all of this is more lounge wear so i'm wondering if i should just take them down and put them with my other barefoot dreams so that i know what is my lounge wear and then just keep these in here for when i go out yeah as far as these, uh, I, I really want to get rid of these three. One, two, three. I'm not going to wear them. Even this one, maybe. And then I can just hang that one. Let's do that because I know I'm not going to wear. I know I'm not going to wear them. I know I'm not. I keep hanging on to them every year. And I know I'm not going to wear them. I don't know that I've ever worn this one, which I like it. And maybe I should keep it because it has like the poofy sleeves. Maybe I will keep this one. But those, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of those. Hopefully I'm not making y'all dizzy by moving around so much. But let me get a couple of hangers to hang those, which I'm going to get them off of these. And put them up. Okay, so there it is. I've hung these up and what I was thinking like I want to have a place where I have comfort wear. Let me go around this way. I was going to try to jump that but then I thought I better not. <laughs> I kind of want to put my cashmere down here 
sewn, I want to be able to like put my comfort wear somewhere. Maybe I'll put it down here. Or I do have now that empty spot. So maybe I'll put them there. Okay, so there's that. I just put them in two of those little Ikea containers. And hopefully oh, they'll be easily accessible. I'm going to try to find one for these two because I don't know. I mean, I think I could do better at folding those. So here we are. I've picked up all of this stuff. I've made a stack of things that I know I'm not going to want. And I was going to try stuff on, but I, I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to say I'm done with them. And I do try to color code so that I know what's what. See, I have this denim these denim jackets in here. They're the darker wash. And I don't know if I should try to put, like, this is a snow jacket. And I don't know if I should try to put it with my rain jackets. My, my rain jackets are more dressy. And then just all my blazers. Which, you know, I thought I had more blazers than that. I don't guess I do. <laughs> which is good. It's like down here what I have left. And I probably need to move these so that I can open this door. Okay. So what I have in here is basically kind of like those little wraps they're just like little vests that i can wear over an outfit that don't have like they're just long and i know i bought one i think it's this one that was humongous on me but i loved it and i just bought it yeah see it's this one it's an extra large but i like these to just throw on over any outfit. This one I bought at Dillard's and I had it dry cleaned and everything, but the fur, once I got makeup on it, the fur just, I don't know, it looks dingy, but it's, it's, it's just that color. So all of these are, even this one, are like the little sleeveless, see? Where'd I get this one, Kato? Which, I have one like this up here. Oh, was I thinking of this one? I thought I had one up here everywhere. This one's a Calvin Klein. I thought I had one. That was a name brand of this. And then this one... Y'all, I've had these forever. Look how this one got a little stained. I must have wore something black. I just wore this the other day. <laughs> just to tell y'all how much I go back to wearing these things. I like this one because it has a hood too. This one I bought and never wore because it shed so bad on my clothes. This one is Forever 21. I mean, I like the houndstooth. But it, see, look how it got everywhere. And I chose just to keep it, but I don't know. I might second guess that as I'm cleaning all this stuff out. I'm going to take these and put them up there with those sweatshirts. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm not thinking that I want to get rid of any of these. But I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Okay. I decided to reverse it. I decided to put my sweatshirts in here. Hopefully I won't forget they're in here and never wear them. I put my old college stuff back there. And then my leisure robes in here. So I'm just hoping that this isn't going to, like, cause me to not wear. Because, see, once they're in there and this is closed, I don't think about it. Okay. I changed my mind again. <laughs> sort of. 
I put like my little camis and stuff that I found in that drawer. I put them here with my Banana Republic sweatshirts that I don't really wear that much. I am going to try my best and hopefully I can use this little item to help me, but I'm gonna try my best to put all of this stuff in here with this, because all of these are the same thing. They're either vest or just things that I pull can pull over my outfit. So I'm gonna try my best to figure out a way to get all of these in here. I really feel like I have room. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, y'all, I got a little hot, so I took off my robe. <laughs> You know the one, the Ugg robe. <laughs> so I, I'm i trying on this coat again. I like it. It's beautiful. It's just that whatever I'm wearing underneath, which we'll see with these shorts, might make me a liar. Maybe after a while it's been in there. I like the coat. It's beautiful. I do. It doesn't have a... string to wrap to wrap it close is just I guess you just put it over your clothing it does fit me a little bit long so I don't know I mean I want to keep it because I like it but I just don't want it to get all over my clothes as far as like itchiness I can feel it kind of irritating my skin but not really so I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going to wear, wear something black and see how it wears. So I'm going to give it a chance. Okay. Now here's this little peach coat. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a little wrap coat. I guess you can get let the sleeves go down. It has pockets. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> oh, the little rat poison thing. But, I mean... I like it. I just think it's maybe it's too big for me. It has a slit right there. And I think the sleeves go down. And I think that they're just way too long for me. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, they're very long. But I think because I do have so many coats, I mean, it feels really soft, but it's not, it's not a good material it's just a little see they even cut the edge kind of rough but yeah i think i'm just gonna say no and i probably didn't wear this very much i'm surprised it doesn't have a tag but i just think it's too it's too much for my body frame so okay and here's this one and it definitely itches quite a bit. This one does have buttons. And I think I really like this one because of the design. It has pockets. And I think if I wore a long sleeve, it would be okay. But, I don't know. Just the fact that it itches. The pocket's not very deep. I mean, it's a very small pocket. I think I'm going to say no. Because I feel like the other coat that I have, the one that I told you I found at the garage sale, this one. I mean, I know they're not the same pattern, but I feel like I have a, a pattern coat if I want to wear it. And this one also is like practically new. Practically new. And I just don't wear it. And the reason it itches is because it's 30% wool. And 70% acrylic. It says made in Italy. What? See how small the pockets are? <laughs> so, I mean, I like the design and everything. I think I would wear it. I don't know. Okay. And here is this halogen coat again. I feel like it's very... I don't know. It's not a good fit. I feel like these little things flap everywhere. 
and it's just not my it's not my thing it's kind of tight in the arms so and I don't like the way it hangs it just like I mean I think if I wore it with a belt it would be okay I mean this is a Nordstrom brand collagen see if I wore it with a belt see if I put it on with a belt then it kind of looks okay but then it kind of makes me look wide because the pockets are right here and I don't want to have to wear a coat with a belt so oh and then it has that little trench thing yeah this is gonna be a no 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 in fact I think this belt should be a no too <laughs> we're not looking at belts today but uh okay here is this Kenneth Cole jacket that I bought and never wore and still has the tags on it. I do like it. This is the only, well, aside from my raincoat that I have that's navy, this one, this is the only navy coat besides denim that I think I have. Yeah, I think it fits good. And I like the pockets. I think it's good, like, for a rainy day. And I don't know if it's polyurethane, but if it is, it has held up. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I do like the length. I like the fit. I like everything about it. Now, it zips, and it also buttons, I guess. Let me make sure the zipper works. Yeah, the zipper works. And I don't know why it has buttons, but see, the zipper is good. And I guess you just have to push those in. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, and here's the trench coat. It is kind of wrinkled. Not kind of. It's very wrinkled. But I do like it. I don't know why I've never worn it. See, it has like the little trench in the back. And the sleeves are good. So... Okay, so I added these two down here, and then um, I know this seems so out of place, like this needs to be somewhere else, but the one that I do have is the cashmere, my cashmere ones like this, and I took them out of here because like this is cashmere stuff or wool. I should say wool, not cashmere, wool stuff. Wool or cashmere. And I took them out because I wanted to not have them in here. But I'm wondering if I should go ahead and if, if I have enough room now, which I kind of took out, but then I kind of put back. I'm wondering if I can move any of this stuff to the other closet maybe i'm kind of thinking maybe these because there's only three of these okay i am going to put these in here and i hesitate because last time i put something in here was when they got damaged by moths i don't know if moths somehow get in this closet or not but i didn't have them in anything so in here is this made well sweater and it's that real pretty colored one and then I also have a gray sweater in here actually I think this one did get a little moth damage before and I had it fixed so it's just, um, it's hard to see it. See, it's just like a cardigan. Did it get moth damage or am I thinking? I think I might be thinking of my a sweater. But anyway, this is just a sweater with a wrap. And all of these have been pressed and I didn't wear them last year. Y'all, because mainly because I didn't go anywhere, hardly. And because I forget that they're here. So 
I really want to just go ahead and hang them here with these sweaters. And I think what I might do is I might just put them in the front. And I do have a little cedar wood here. I'm just going to, if you rub them like that, it reinstates the smell. So I'm going to do that. So last time when I had them in here, I didn't have them in the plastic. I didn't have the mothballs. I didn't have anything. So I'm hoping now they'll be more protected in here. Cross my fingers. <laughs> and then, so that takes care of that cardigan or those cardigans. I'm going to be a little bit more leery about putting my Burberry scarf in there. So then th that leaves this one empty. This one here is the longer cardigans. This one I had to repurchase last year because the moss ate it. And I didn't even know my husband <laughs> was walking behind me. And he's like, do you know you have a bunch of holes in your sweater? And I was like, what? No way. This one, I just adore this sweater. And I want to wear it, but I hesitate wearing it because I don't want anything to happen to it. See, it's like a halogen. And it was all eaten by moss. And then I bought this one that kind of looks like a robe. It's really pretty, too. I got them both from Nordstrom. If I can find pictures, I'll insert the pictures. I know it's hard to see it here. But that's because also this halogen one, it's a cashmere blend. It's not 100% cashmere and the moss still, I guess they weren't picky eaters because <laughs> they ate it all. And that's why I have a lot of stuff in plastic and mothballs and cedar everywhere. So again, I'm going to keep the little lavender on the hanger aspect of it just for prevention and then I also have more of those little cedar hangers which I already have some there and I'm going to go ahead and hang them in here and hope that this helps me to wear them I'll fix it here in a minute but I'm just going to put them there I moved some stuff up here just to make room I have more room up here on the top and it's very jammed here, so I don't know what else I can move up there. Let me see what I can do. Okay, it's getting it's getting late in here. <laughs> so I decided to take the coats that I had over there down, and I moved those brown coats up. Only because they were the shorter length. Actually, I wonder if this one, this, no, this one's still a little bit long. So it's kind of tight here on the bottom, but I put the cashmere sweaters in there and just what I was going to give another try, which is these to see if I wear them. So up there, there's not a whole lot up there. It's heavier down here. And with these pack systems, you really don't want to be real top heavy. Like my husband anchored this down really good. But he always told me if I'm going to put more stuff, put it on the bottom, not on the top. So that's what I've tried to do. So let me put this back. I'll tell you what, guys, this thing fell on my foot one year, this part. And it, I thought it had broke it like it was bad. Okay, so we'll give it a try like that. If anything, I can also move these with my denim stuff over here in this other closet. But for now, I think I'm gonna let it live and hopefully all will be good. These were the coats that I'm talking about that I took down. This one, I like this coat a lot, but I think it might be too little for me. I'm gonna try it on. And then this, um... oh, Mocha scared the crap out of me. This one is a size 8. It should fit me, but it looks kind of small. This one is a Calvin Klein one. Very dressy. I like it, but hardly ever wear it. 
This one I think I wore one time. It's Yoni Beanie. And then this one, Black Label. I don't know where I got this one. Probably Ross. So that leaves me with my wraps. So these in here are cashmere wool wraps. And then the two that I took out of there. And then these sweaters I was going to try on as well. Oops. But I'm kind of thinking, I, I don't know why I want to try them on. I don't know. Okay, hopefully y'all can see me. Like I said, it's getting dark. This one, so cute. It fits me barely. I mean, the arms are okay and everything, but it won't close. I mean, I could suck it in and close it, but but it's a really cute jacket. I do like it a lot, but it's just not worth hanging on to it if it's... I mean, when I lost a lot of weight, this was the coat that I wore. But I just don't see myself being that small. And I don't want to be that small. Like, I'm not comfortable being teeny tiny. Okay, and here's this corduroy jacket. And it's too long in the sleeves. I do like it, but also it doesn't close. And I'm okay with letting it go. I think I wore it a couple of times. It has like this kind of like silky material here. It's very like, pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it very clear, but it's a very pretty corduroy jacket. This doesn't fit the way I want it to. I'm surprised in the arms it's good, but I'm wearing a tank top. So a lot of these jackets are probably what I could wear with a cami. But if I put a long sleeve on, it's definitely not going to fit, but... Yeah, it's just not a good fit on me, so I'm just going to let it go. Okay, and here's the little cardigan, the black one. I like it. It does fit good, but, and it's practically brand new. Like, it doesn't have any wear and tear on it. I know it's getting dark, y'all. So I think that I'm going to let it go so someone else can enjoy it. I have plenty of little black cardigans or... So I think it'll be okay to let it go. Here's the one kind of like the black one. But this one kind of has like that little, I don't know, on the bottom, kind of like the little flare or something. I don't know. But I'm also going to let it go. It's pretty. I like the ribbing in it and everything, but I just don't need it. And I probably wouldn't wear it. This would be cute like with the, with a belt and just kind of have that little effect there. But if I haven't worn it, I'm not gonna wear it. Here's this jacket. It's very tight in the arms. See, but it's a very, it's a stretchy knit. I don't know if that's why it feels pretty stretchy. And I don't think, I mean, if I, yeah, I don't think I can zip it up. So if I kept it, it would just be, it's very cool. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it looks like a, like a leather jacket. Very cool design and everything, but I just don't see myself wearing it. I don't know what happens if you unzip this. I don't know. I kind of like opened it here, unzipping that, and it kind of helped me be able to zip it up, but no 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 this looks like the most uncomfortable thing i would ever force myself to wear <laughs> but it's cute like i said it looks like a jacket and it's it's practically brand new i just never wore it. it has nice material i don't know if you can see it in the camera but it's very nice material like i said it's stretchy but it is see-through as well i don't know why in the world you would want to unzip that one on that jacket <laughs> here's this one and I kind of struggled to let this one go a little bit more than the others. Just because I think that it's, I don't know, it's nice. But it also has that, I don't know, there must have been a season where this was in. And of course I jumped on the bandwagon, but it fits good. I just don't reach for it. I don't think that I would reach for it. So, I think I'm going to let it go. Okay. And here is this one. Very pretty color. I do like the color. 
Seems like it fits okay. Again, it has that little, I don't know what's going on with that. And this would actually match with my, my little winter hat, but it's a quarter sleeve. I really don't wear it. So I think I'm gonna let it go as well. I just don't reach for it. There's nothing I can think of to wear with it except maybe a maybe a tank top and maybe a monochrome underneath, like a cream monochrome. But it wouldn't be something that I would want to wear. So I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, so that's everything, y'all. It got dark on me in here. But I got a pretty good pile there. And I was going to try on this one. In fact, I'll try it on real quick. Just so y'all can see what I mean. That it's too small. Okay. It fits better in the arms than I remember. But look how tiny it is, y'all. Like, it doesn't even... <laughs> it's always... I mean, I think there was one time maybe it fit me good. But it's cute as can be. Very, very cute. Look, it even has like... The little pleats in here make it really, really cute and flowy. And that's what I liked about it. But maybe one day I can find one that actually fits me. But this one is just going to have to, I'm just going to have to let it go. Because, I mean, it doesn't fit me. It's like half my body. <laughs> but it is very pretty. Very, very pretty. I like the everything about it, but gonna be a no so anyway i think that's gonna be it for today y'all i'm just gonna get this together in a box i'm gonna figure out what i want to put there i did put my sweatshirts back there because i was afraid if i put them under that other that i would forget about it so we're getting closer to where i want to be just to show you real quick i did put all of those sweaters and that just go over something in here all my vest all of my vest in here I, I went ahead and decided to keep this coat so i put them all in here sorry i didn't have the flash on so that's that's organized in here i might think about moving them down though because that drawer does kind of struggle to close and then here's what i did the other day with those little things and then all of this is just empty i'm gonna have to vacuum that because these kind of came out but now these are empty but again as i mentioned i still have my wraps that i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with and then also like my burberry sweater i'm not sure these yeah, I'm just going to have to come back to that because I don't have a resolution right now. So, yay, I did it. I'm so happy. I feel good. So I'm just going to have to throw these in a box and run away <laughs> so that I don't try to put them back in here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.